cold light. Uh, this this idea uh, kind of came to me. I was sitting at the traffic lights, just looking out at the intersection, and cars were whizzing whizzing around, and um, I just caught a glimpse of that kind of cold, harsh light, like in the middle of traffic, in the middle of people's busyness, and uh, literally just coming down through the clouds. And you know, I light is such a powerful thing. Um, a cold light is is cutting. It's depressing. It 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 seems to uh, bring darkness and not illumination. Um, light can bring life, um, but then there's false light. Jesus said it's very important what light lights our eyes. Matthew six twenty three he said that the eyes are the lamp of the body. When the eyes are good, the whole body is full of light. Uh, Jesus uh, was the light, and that light was the life of men, John 1, 5. Um, Jesus said, I am the light of the world, John 8, 12. He, he, he brought that same life in light to us, Matthew 5, 14. He said, you are the light of the world. Um, but then we have light that can be false. It can be untruthful. It can be dark. It says in 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen that the devil himself masquerades as an angel of light. That is the picture of holiness, but it's the breath of death. Um, so light in itself now, uh, we need to know the spirit behind the light. We need to know the spirit behind the light. Uh, Jesus said a very interesting kind of paradoxical line again in Matthew 6, 23. He said, if the light in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? If the light in you is darkness, there is a light that can guide us, that can illuminate our path. And, and it is in fact, in essence, darkness, although it shines. Uh, I love these other images of God and light. Um, Psalm 139, 12 speaks of uh, God turning our darkness into light. 2 Samuel 22, 29, he says of God, you turn my darkness into light. Um, uh, Amos 4, 13 speaks of God, the God of light, turning the dawn into darkness. Uh, remember, darkness is his. There can be a a darkness, uh, just like there can be a false light, there can be a holy darkness. Again, it's the spirit behind light and darkness. Um, I love Romans 8.16. It says, His spirit testifies to our spirit that we are sons of God. In your light, we see light. Psalm 36.9. 2 Corinthians 4.6 says, The God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made His light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. Um, light, the true light, the light that gives light, the, the true light was coming into the world. John 1, 9, the true light. Again, there can be a false light. Um, God, in, in God in whom there is no darkness, 1 John 1, 5, 1 Timothy 6, 16 speaks of God uh, living in unapproachable light. But then I love this, 1 Kings 8.12 speaks of God, Solomon's praying to God, and he says, you said you would dwell in thick darkness. Again, that thick darkness of God is, is lighter than any light of man. Uh, so, again, cold light. Um, there is a light that warms. There is a light that brings life. And that light is Jesus Christ. And you know, we have an opportunity in this life to stand even in places of cold light, places of despair in our lives, and to say and to speak, to overcome. Revelations 12.10, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. You can stand in places of cold light and even false light in this life and declare by the blood of the Lamb, the true light, you can declare, Psalm 24, 1, that the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. And you can rebuke the cold light and say, this earth is God's. 
All authority in heaven and earth has been given to Christ. Uh, Matthew 28, 18 to 20. You can claim the life-giving light and the warmth and the healing of Jesus in places where you see cold light pass through. And we can say, no, in the name of Jesus, we're going to redeem this place. We're going to redeem this space. And we decree, we declare in faith without which it's impossible to please God, Hebrews 11, 6, we declare in faith that this cold light will be no more and the warm light, the true light of Jesus Christ will be in this place. That's how we redeem the cold and bring the warm. That's how we redeem the false and bring the true. And the coldest of light, the coldest of light was that day, not that night, that day when our Lord was crucified. He was crucified in the light of day. But you know what Jesus did in that cold light? He declared and decreed that the, the, the death itself had lost. And he said, John 19, 30, it is finished. And he was quoting, I believe, Psalm twenty two thirty one 31, when he says, the psalmist says, God has done it. Jesus said, John 19, 30, it is finished. He he redeemed the coldest of light in the depth of death and crucifixion with a declaration that God had won. God has won here. So in your hard places and spaces and in, in those cold and dreary areas of your life, try to rise up in faith by the grace and the strength of God. Try to rise up and declare true light, true healing true hope in that place. When you do that, you sing along with the declaration and the redemption words of Jesus, even as he hung on the cross. God bless you.